what is up guys got some high volume squat work and some deficit deadlifts on this video so we are working with the dreaded 315 today and as I mentioned in the past every basically every week from here on out is a PR <clears throat> so I'm happy about that but what I believe ends up happening uh, in this next set that's going to be shown right after this uh, this is my second set by the way being shown I'm going for five sets of eight I just I'm not sure I, I think I just um, might have dive bombed a little bit lower than I needed depth has never been an issue with me but for whatever reason uh, I always feel like even if I cut my depth it's still not an issue but I'm not sure it's just like a something I need to work on um, it probably move the bar up just those those safety bars up one higher and honestly every time I do that I, I don't dive bomb so and, and I still don't get close to hitting the, the safety bars but either way that's not an excuse and it's not something I should uh, it's not something that should be too much of an issue but I think that's what went wrong here and basically um I get uh, six reps in and my six rep is it's almost like a like I paused halfway in between the squat so I could have grind probably grinded out two more uh, I just decided not to um, because I wanted to finish uh, the remainder of my working sets with this weight because I knew I was strong enough I just like I said I feel like I just dive bombed and that's what ended up happening regardless I'm going to decrease the weight the, the uh, coming week just to rebuild and focus on mechanics and what I need to do and staying tight and not dive bombing See, I believe it's this rep right here. So as I mentioned, I probably could have just finished two more reps. Um, <laughs> I've learned to get pretty good at <laughs> grinding out reps, but just decided to leave a few in the tank and finish the remainder of the workout with this weight because I don't feel like it was a weight issue. See, I'm <laughs> mentally trying to get pumped up just because the set before was the one where I ended up too shy.
I just remember being extremely tired <laughs> after this. Literally, guys, like five sets of eight for car uh, squats is basically cardio. Um, well, with this amount of weight, at least for me, it is. So from there, we're going on to some deficit deads, which have been feeling pretty good for me. It's kind of funny uh, <laughs> when it's a day that I'm doing deficit deads. I'm th all I think in my head is, man. <laughs> Regular deadlifts are so much easier, <laughs> and then when it's my heavy day for regular deadlifts, I'm just thinking, I wish I could do deficits instead. <laughs> so it's just it's just one of the, those uh, those mental things that you just kind of gotta suck it up and do it. I don't know if you guys get the same feeling. But this particular day. I decided to kind of try something new, as you see, in between reps. Just kind of, if I if I need to, reset and restart and take a breath. And it actually felt great. I thought it was going to make me like lose focus or whatnot, but it it worked out. It worked out to my advantage. Don't you so, faggot! Here's that wiggle. So basically, I'll only reset, or completely reset like that if... I don't know, I feel like I lose if I feel like I'm going to lose tightness in the next rep. Uh, I can't think offhand when I know I'm going to feel like I'm losing tightness, but I know that's what I was thinking, uh, or that's what I think when I do that reset. Try it out and see how you guys like it. Uh, it's been working great for me. So, yeah, I'd say give it a shot and see if you like it. I, I enjoyed it. I don't do it all the time, but I do do it a lot more often than I have been in the past. Thanks again for watching, guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you on the next video.